Hello beautiful Pisces! I said we were going to do something fun this Saturday and um, I'm, ho I'm holding my end of the promise and this is going to be our fun thing, okay? So it's going to be pick a card. I want you to stare at these images for a while and I want you to pick one that resonates with you really, really uh, intensely, okay? Um, it could be all three as well. I've, I've watched some of these videos and, and stayed to watch all three. Um, it's all about a spirit message for you, specifically for you, Pisces. Absolutely. And I'm so happy to do this. I feel really good. This feels like fun. And you're going to leave feeling absolutely wonderful, I promise. Now I'm going to read from these cards because there's messages behind them. And I'm going to read from these postcards from Spirit as well that are uh, closely um, linked to these. And then in the extended later on, I'm going to do it like I do all my videos. I'm going to pull to row to help explain and further deepen your connection to the message. Okay? Yes! I love this. Before I carry on though, Pisces, I wanted to um, just broach a little bit of all the messages we got last week. While I was pulling out these postcards uh, from Spirit, this one came out. And this one came out yesterday after the readings of all our weekly, of, of the stuff that we've been trying to overcome. The delays and the uncertainties and the blockages. And uh, I found that it just spoke to me and it's, it's called Willingness to Grow, if you see this. This very much has the image of somebody who's about to take a leap, such as a fool. But this is a, I believe it's a crane with wings. And I'll read you the message. Outer voices declare, don't leap, hold back. They challenge us. How can you be sure you'll make it? Yet inner voices are your soul and spirit whispering, leap, because they are privy to the ways of the divine. They know that a net has already been placed to catch you. Yet you continue to dither between the here and the there, wondering, what was I thinking? It is fear that is trying to ever more insistently to seduce you back into habitual surroundings. Pay it no attention. Your journey towards greater fulfillment has long ago started. I love this. And then this card came out and I find that it's a match. So I'm going to read it to you. Uh, on the back is... I don't know. It's beautiful. It looks like a, a little cherub in an opening flower. Let's see here. Dearest you, everything is in divine order. Even in chaos, there is order. And we are always in awe of this for you. Though on your human journey, things can get disorganized in your mind and physical reality. You need to get rid of the clutter, whether it be too many stories in your mind, or too many what-ifs, or fearful thoughts of the past or future. Instead, focus on the now. Empty your mind, clean your house, and throw out any object that tells you an uncomfortable story. Discern that you have sort you, that you what, discern what you have, sort, purge, clear, and organize. We want you to have space to fill with something better. Spirit loves a vacuum as it gives space for brilliant new energy. Let go of what is not serving you and give order to what remains. See them and know their value. Your soul needs organization in order to keep your connection to us and to spirit free of distractions. You are so adored by so many. We hope you really know that. So I really love this card. And I just wanted to put this in there for the end of last week because there were so many, many messages that came through in so many varied ways on how to help you unblock and move forward and it just wanted to make sure the spirit had like the last word on this okay so that was for last week now I hope you've been staring at these and going mm, I wonder which one we're going to back this up a little bit and then we're going to start start looking at these cards yes okay so, we're going to start with card number one, but before I do that, I trust the guidance of the universe. 
Trust that everything you need to know is being revealed to you in a perfect space-time sequence. Okay? So this beautiful card. I'm going to put it right here. All right. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I can't wait. Okay. So we're going to go for card number one. Tell me what you feel uh, in the comment section if you pick card number one when you saw this image. What went through your mind? To me, I see peace. I see calm. I see just being Zen, okay? So, this is the breath, okay? Awareness of the breath is the key to continual movement of life and your connection with spirit. Being mindful of your breath helps you to remain in the present, bringing clarity of thought, tolerance, and patience. It can benefit your overall well-being and help your mediumship development. In mediumship, your breath is a powerful tool. It's important to remain aware of your breath at all times to preserve and sustain a strong and clear link to spirit. A great practice to enhance is to use a form of breathing meditation. Take a few moments now to practice this simple exercise. Sit somewhere comfortably and follow each breath through your body. With each in-breath, let it fill your abdomen and notice how it moves through the essence of your being. With each out-breath, notice the relaxation in your body and mind. You can use the power of breath to initiate and deepen your link with spirit. Being aware of the rhythm of your breathing amplifies the link. As you pay attention to how you're breathing, be mindful to inhale and exhale slowly and deeply. This practice is a form of quieting the mind. It silences the mind chatter and creates a clear, unobstructed link. Practice these breathing techniques as they will not only make you a stronger a medium, but also a healthier one. So if you are looking to communicate with spirit in any way, shape, or form, this is part, I would say, of also meditating. Especially if meditating is hard for you, concentrating on the breath is a beautiful thing. I absolutely, when I wake up in the morning, take four long, deep breaths that I, that I really mindfully pay attention to. When we get distracted or really bogged down with many, many thoughts, we tend to breathe in shallow. And I find that just breathing in itself offers such a great way of just connecting to everything, even your surroundings and everything around you. Okay, so next up is Dearest You. This is a postcard uh, paired up with this. We are sending you waves of love and joy as we watch you reap the rewards of your tenacity and faith. We know how long it has taken you to reach some of your goals and that you've had disappointments along the way. Right now, we suggest take a deep breath and fill yourself up with gratitude and tune into the vibration of well-being. Temporary conditions may be trying to hypnotize you into seeing something else as your reality, but we know that happy rewards are on their way to you even now. Change is the only constant, so be open to it. You will achieve your dreams and more, we promise. But more important, your happy rewards will be gathered up in the small moments, the gentle breezes, the soft kisses, the quiet commitments, the deep breaths. Your happiest moments will be on the journey itself, not in arriving at any destination. You are surrounded by so much love and care. Can you feel us? Okay, so this is a beautiful postcard that I absolutely love that we're going to, that was linked to this beautiful card of breath. Breath is so important. We, we do it, but we, I, I, like I said, I do think that we just, uh, not dismiss it, but because breathing is such an automatic thing, taking a deep breath is just something that when we start doing it or putting focus on it, it can offer us some great links, some great moments, some great uh, a great tool to actually start um, working on meditation. Meditation is not about breathing. Meditation is about being still. But sometimes our minds are so um, 
filled with stuff that it's hard to be still. So concentrating on breath and your breath is definitely the key to starting down that path. Okay? It's really an asset. So that was card number one. I hope that gave you some, I don't know, maybe an incentive to do that more in your life. Okay? So that's a message from Spirit for anybody who picked it. Number two is the Divine Source. Look at that. It's beautiful. The Divine Source Spirit is an infinite, expansive source of love that you can access at any time using the power of thought, prayer, or breathing meditation. Aha! Um, that's what we're talking to. <laughs> I, I, I jumped ahead of the game, I guess. A practicing medium should constantly seek advice and guidance from the divine source, absolutely, which is always there for healing and support throughout one's life's journey. Often referred to as a white light, the divine source is a positive healing light that can energize, cleanse, and strengthen your connection with spirit. This energy can also be used in support of graceful intentions and manifestations in all areas of your life. Be proactive and set aside time every day to connect to this loving light. The healing properties of the white light can increase awareness of your spirit self and amplify your abilities as you let the pure stream of white light energize you. As though you're bathing in a waterfall of unconditional love, joy, and strength from the Divine Source. To connect with the Divine Source, you can use this technique of sitting in the power of your own beautiful light. Breathe into your heart center as you focus on the power of your breath. Allow your consciousness to form a link with the Divine Source. Let the white light surround you and purify your spirit and energize you as each ray of light heals and nourishes every aspect of your being. Don't forget to share love and gratitude in return for the blessings received. So this is really telling you that you have a link to the Divine Source. All you really need is to consciously practice connecting to them to get some um, clarity, to ask your questions, to meditate on it, and all that really involves is you sitting quietly, concentrating on your breath, and then just kind of letting the questions to spirit flow through you and see what comes back, okay, after you've reached your stillness. It's so important. Dear you, human beings spend a huge percentage of life asleep, not just in bed, but the kind where you forget you are a spiritual, immortal being taking on a temporary human form. It's not your fault. Everyone suffers from spiritual amnesia once in a while. As you develop an identity and ego, you begin to see through the eyes of a small self and have less connection to your soul self. You may not recognize this is going on, but you sure can feel it. We're here to remind you to look through your soul's eyes and see that magic is everywhere. Infinite potential lies in spirit, who is teeming with you to fulfill the contract you made to contribute to the evolution of the whole world. Wake up and remember that all the help you need is orchestrated in the invisible realm. Your mind, in alignment with divine intelligence, is unstoppable. The world is yours to co-create. You are so loved, and we are all behind you. Another very beautiful card, okay, from Spirit. All right, guys, so now we're going to the third card in this series. And this one has a beautiful um, figure painting a butterfly. And this one is Creative Expressions. Oh, I love these. This is all beautiful. This is all so calming and refreshing and uplifting. So we have creative expression. Beautiful. Creativity is not only a way of expressing your personality and spirit to the outside world. It's also a great way of disconnecting your analytical mind so you can reconnect with the creative, expressive, and intuitive side of your brain. As children, we started our lives by freely using the more creative right side of our brain. As we got older, as a result of schooling 
and societal conditioning, there was a tendency to pull away from our right side and rely more on the intellectual left side of our brain. Intuition floats on the edge of creativity, so try doing something creative, such as taking a class where you can practice sketching, drawing, writing, painting, coloring, making pottery, or whatever works for you. Being creative can be quite meditative in its own way, as you develop your psychic and mediumship potential, it can help you train yourself to let go of logic and trust the information you're receiving, whether it's psychic or messages from spirit. Every psychic and medium uses the vast imaginative nature of the right brain to achieve an altered state. This is what is known as the artist's mind. This is the special place where communication is pure and authentic. You don't need to have any artistic ability to practice with creative methods and tools. Just making the effort and having fun will definitely help to stretch your spiritual abilities further than you could imagine. So I love the way that this is kind of just following along with these. You have breathing into meditation into creativity. So these all link, whether you pick one, two, or three. These can all apply to you, or one can lead to the next. Just remember that, okay? So your postcard for this is Dearest You. Oh, wait, before I do, I showed it to everybody else. So this one, in the second one, before I go on, is an angel, I believe. Beautiful, okay? I didn't show you, so now I'm going to show you. For the creative artist, there you go. And this one says, celebrate life. Look at that. And it looks like it's some an, an angel or a cherub playing music. It's beautiful. Uncertainty is the new normal for the whole world. Things are changing at a rapid pace and the old ways we once trusted are no longer reliable. But leaving the familiar behind can be a good thing. When you are pushed to step into the unknown, you are pulled forward into discovering new possibilities that have been hidden in plain sight. Check in with your higher power. Your soul knows better than your small self. Have faith in the support of a higher power and the infinite potential for your life. Right now, the advice we have for you is this. Try something new. Do something different. You won't know how it feels, what it looks like, or what the outcome will be if you do not take that first step into the unknown and experience the unfamiliarity, you'll be so glad you did because the treasure will appear. We're so proud of you for being brave. You are so loved and so supported. So I love these cards. I think they're brilliant. I think that they speak volumes. I think they're very calming in the way they're coming through and I feel very much a lot of spirit energy in this reading right here. This is some great advice from spirit on how to connect you to your insides is what I'm hearing. Inside of yourself, your inside, your... Oh, why am I hearing chi? I don't know. Anyway, so for some of you that may mean something, for me it means nothing, but this is telling you that you, this is how they express love. All this calming energy, all this beautiful, um, oh, and I just noticed, look at this card, it says spirit communication process. This is from this deck here, okay? Linking with spirit blending with spirit. So these are all spirit, spirit, spirit. These are saying, okay, that this is how you can have a better link to spirit, how you can communicate with them or reach them. A lot of the times I've seen you guys ask me how, how, what, what, you know, what videos on meditating, whichever one resonates with you. Whichever one calms your mind, and it's okay to go through the process of elimination until you find the right one. 
Some of us don't need any of that. Some of us need to just be quiet for a minute. Sometimes when we let our minds be quiet, the most wonderful things happen. Tears flow. Things get healed. When we give our mind a chance to think of things, to heal things, to process things, we're actually in the process of healing. Okay? These are tools that can be used after or in between these moments of processing to connect us closely or better yet more closely to spirit because they are always connected to us when the, there is a problem it is from our end from our human perspective they're sitting there waiting for us they've been assigned to us individually our own individual spirits have been assigned to us to help us to lead us in a much better and more fulfilling way okay so I would invite you to practice all one or all of these tools uh, in trying to um, manifest a better connection to spirit this has been their spirit messages but I'm going to do an extended later on I'm going to pull from these decks for each individual one and see what else they have to say I hope you can come back to see that. I appreciate you very much. I hope you enjoyed this slightly different but very beautiful reading from Spirit Pisces. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings. Take good care of yourself. Stay safe. I will see you soon.